K class. This will be the last topic for this week because tomorrow is your examination, di ba ninyo? But take up examination. But this will be the last part for your applied economics uh, uh, topic for before the examination tomorrow. So, ang topic natin is about the macro environment. Una natin pinag-aralan is micro. Pag sa micro is mga maliliit na negosyo, uh, whether small, medium, and micro enterprises, that is the micro environment. But now, you will open to the micro macro environment, which is, is the bigger type na view of economics when it comes to thinking natin yung economy. Kasi pasok na ito, by the whole, pang isang bansa, for a region, for a continent, and etc. So now, i-describe muna natin what is the macro environment. Macro environment is the condition of economy as a whole. Yan. Hindi lang sa mga businesses, sa certain businesses, individual businesses, but it is in an economy by the whole. Ibig sabihin, Philippine concept, every industry and other factors that contribute economies crop. And data down nito is one is Philippine Statistics Authority, ayon sa kanila, but this is from 2016. Yung post na per percent ng gross domestic product. Ano ba yung gross domestic product? But then again, basahin muna natin ito. Growth in fourth quarter of 2016. Yan. Mas tumaas. So, sabi dito, GDP posted a 6.6% growth in the fourth quarter of 2016, driving the economy to grow by 6.8%. For the entire year, the fourth quarter growth was the slowest record uh, for the year, but was higher than 6.5% growth in the fourth quarter down down 2015. Ang mga main driver down ng growth nito ay una manufacturing, yung trade, real estate, renting, sa business activities, yung, yung marami ang sarami business within that time. Among the major sectors, industry, the fastest growth was 7.6% in the third quarter in 2015-2016. Higher than previous years, 6.5% uh, services deliberated 7.4% compared to 7.8% growth. On the other hand, agriculture declined by 1.1% in the same period of the previous year. Mas bumaba daw yung sa agriculture uh, industry. Net primary I slowed down by 4.1%. Compared to 11.5%, growth recorded in fourth quarter as a result yung GNI o yung income ng national post sa dala, growth ng 6.1%. So with the country's projected population reaching 103.9 million fourth quarter of 2016 na per capita, meron tayong GDP at GNI na nag-grow ng 4.8%, 4.4% respectively. It's a good thing sa atin Kasi ibig sabihin, other businesses boom, like the 6.6, pero mas madami 7.0 in a service industry. But here, 6.6, ang nag-boom na marami within 2016 is the manufacturing trade, real estate, yung nagpaparenta, siyempre yung mga business activities. But now, that is the GDP and GNI, yung kabuuan. Maganda yung economy ng Pilipinas natin way back in 2016 to 15 period. But now, pasok tayo doon sa agribusiness. That is the most common na usually inapapainto na sa mga services but now dapat kailangan pumasok din sa mga agribusinesses. Kasi more importantly, the agribusinesses is the source or the agriculture industry is the main source of food supply sa ating bansa. Kapag nawala yung agri industry, may hirapan yung ating bansa when it comes kung paano mas supply yan yung ating food. Yan. Una, according to Arangkada, Philippines with the business perspective daw sa agriculture sector, yung GDP o gross domestic product, ibig sabihin yung mas yung produkto ng negosyo na mas patok within that year o mas maraming negosyo na nag within that year in kabuuan sa Pilipinas ay 19% at nakapag-provide daw ng 34%, ibig sabihin, 34% of the labor works or mga labor force, ibig sabihin yung trabaho, 34% doon ay nasa agribusinesses. So marami-rami yun. So Philippine, the Philippines scored, uh, scored the lowest export at 3.2 and trade balance. Bakit ba tinitingnan yung lowest export? Ibig sabihin, mas marami tayong uh, ibig sabihin, uh, and trade balance 
2.4. Yan. Tayo yung pinakamababa when it comes sa export. Ibig sabihin, yung pagpapadala ng product papunta sa ibang bansa. Kaya dapat, ano yun, mas mahirap kasi mas madami din yung import natin. Ibig sabihin, if ang isang bansa ay mas madami yung import, mas madami tayong, mas umaasa tayo sa ibang bansa when it comes sa supply sa ating bansa. Pero pag tayo naman ay mas madami export, ibig sabihin, mas nangailangan ng ibang bansa sa atin kasi tayo yung source sa pinagkukunan nila. So here, sa agribusiness, uh, a good thing and a bad thing, uh, nakakapag-import tayo at it is a bad thing, yung export kaunti, siguro to, to tawag niya, to supply yung needs nung, when it comes to agricultural products and, and services sa ating bansa. Kaya mas kakaunti yung within sa region ng Southeast Asia o sa ASEAN. Ang ASEAN is Association of Southeast Asia Nation, yan, na may BN at USS 2009. Yung export, yan, nakita nyo. Tingnan nyo lang mga bansa. Yung Pilipinas is 8.3% when it comes sa export. Singapore, it is concluding na mas kakaunti yan kasi ang Singapore is maliit lang naman siya na bansa. And then di primarily ang kanila agriculture. They more on sa mga uh, BPOs, business process outsourcing, or mga service-related works or mga office-related works. Hindi masyado dun sa agriculture, kakaunti lang. Well, maliit naman naman sa Singapore kumpara naman sa atin. So kaya lang, mababa pa rin tayo other than sa mga kahalos kapareha natin ng mga bansa kalaki. Now that's it. Yan, nakita nyo yung increase. Now figure 47, kung titignan ito from 1997, data siya ng World Trade Organization. According to free trade agreement, amount no more than $3 billion, this will potentially increase the market participate. On domestic environment, other producers can also penetrate Philippine market which detrimental on local local manufacturers. Asan ba yung Pilipinas? Ayun, mas mababa. Ibang mansa, mataas. Kaya, other way to maximize this to penetrate export market yan. Kasi when it comes to time mag-export, mas affected yung ating mga local farmers. Just like nangyari ngayon, because tayo ay nakapag-export ng mga rice, nahihirapan yung mga farmers natin dito kasi uh, mababa din yung benta nila ng kanilang mga palay pero pagod na pagod sila sa kanilang pagkatrabaho. Ngayon din naman, yung tao nahihirapan din kasi yung purchasing power hindi tumataas, mababa pa rin. ba? Diba? Karamihan. Ngayon ikam sa middle status, sa nasa, nasa below middle status na, na work dito sa Pilipinas. So kailangan dapat mas tumaas yung purchasing power ng mga tao para yung demand ay hindi mas lado drastic o hindi nahihirapan. So dito when it comes naman sa 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 export, may hinahina rin tayo kasi mas magandang exporter tayo. Para meron may kita doon, pangalawa is uh, tayo yung pagkakakunan ng resources ng ibang bansa. Ganun. Kung nakita mo, mababa yung export natin, ganoon din naman yung import, yung mas madami. So, affected tayo within that year, from 2009 to 1990. Consistent. Ayan. Yan yung may influx. Sabi nga dito, there are several undertakings, small farms will do business enterprise. Yan. Farmers grow hog, supply. Yan. Kaya dapat pag mas madami yung nag- Marami yung nag in a business. Parang mass produce, mas much better. Pero pagkakaunti, nahihirapan tayo doon. The concept of partnership at SMC, yan. Yung mga assure self financing provide. Cassava and ethanol, yan. Yung mga companies, mayroon mga companies na nag help sa mga farmers natin. Tumutulong sa mga magsasaka natin para mas lalong tumaas yung, yung status ng agriculture when it comes sa ating bansa. So it They play a major role sa atin. So, small firms cannot afford to become bigger, becomes part of San Miguel, which is the biggest entity in agriculture. This project gives small farmers the opportunity to partner to San Miguel Corporation. Now, our government also support agriculture programs and meron mga pa-training. Di lang sa college student, even as I am always an active uh, trainer, ah, hindi, trainee of when it comes in agriculture. Kasi libre lang naman, in-offer ng Agriculture Training Institute, in-offer ng, ng Bureau of Agricultural Research, ng BFAR, meron din yung PhilMEC, uh, and etc. Na part of the Department of Agriculture, yung mga bureau, bureaus niya. So, 
Uh, according to NFA, baba tayo, uh, buys the product of farmers and ensures this farmer sell. Pero saan binibili? But then again, I think the National Food Authority mas madami yung binibili or na-export nila from Vietnam and Thailand. And then, hindi naman na-dispose lahat. Di ba? Kung nakikita nyo sa TV, bultubultuhang, bigas, ang nasasira, inaanay, lumumanan, nabasa na, etc. Di ba? Sayang na sayang. But then again, meron pa rin rice, ano nyan? Tawag nyan? Nagkukulang pa rin naman daw sa bigas. Ano ba yun? Kay dami-daming natatago sa ano, ba't nagkukulang pa din? So yun. So NFA buys farmers organization government support price to ensure yung market to accommodate yung farmer produce enable farmers fail return on production investment. This program undertaken to ensure daw yung established yung manageable na buffer stock in line. Yan. Ibig sabihin, importante kasi, di ba na pag natin yung mga first study natin about the law of supply and demand. Now, kung titingnan natin sa baba, yung agri and forest goods exports. Yan, kung ating titingnan. Yan. Uh, it, hindi ko rin ma-identify kung wa, anong kulay talaga ito. But I think this is the forest product. This is the sugar-related product. Ay, uh, uh, this. Forest product. Sugar-related product, if I'm not mistaken. Other fruits and vegetables. Kultura. Uh, di bananas. Yan. Agri. Yan. And then, so kung titignan na show that Good expert coconut products have highest yield, 31. Ayan, yung 31, that is the coconut products down. Followed by agro-based products. And this, 34.5. Yun. So, mga agro-based products, pwede mga crops, and etc. Ayan. Yan yung mga, ang number one sa atin is coconut. So, the Philippines is one of the major producer ng coconut sa Southeast Asia. Hindi lang sa Southeast Asia, sa Asia, even in the world. Kaya lang yung problem, problema tayo sa coconut because pinagdaan tayo ng iba-ibang bagyo. Second, is hindi na masyado kasi ang coconut ginagawa yan ng oil but now yung nag-export especially China nag-export sila ng oil sa atin through coconut ay hindi na masyado kasi para pinalitan na nila ng aloe vera or olive oil mga uliba so mahirap pa din so dapat nag-flexible and nag improve din natin yung agriculture natin kasi hindi lang naman pwedeng isahan lang yan dapat may crop Microbes bin, di lang sa isa kumukuha ng glissures na napakarami. Economic development structure transformation sa manufacturing. For past 30 years daw, gaining globalization and manufacturing approach, penetrate local sin by putting up their factories here because of lower. Yan sa manufacturing, sila yung nagpuput up ng mga manufacturing, ng mga uh, manufacturing companies ito. One example, the Philippines was peak at around 1995. Madami yung nagput up sa atin within 1995 but went down because yan, nag-open na din yung Bangladesh, Cambodia, China, Indonesia, and Vietnam. Bakit ganon? Bakit mas marami, hindi lang lokal, pati yung international, makikita mo? Because, uh, ba't nakita mo Bangladesh, Cambodia, China, Indonesia, and Vietnam? Kasi mababa po yung labor cost sa kanila. Ibig sabihin, yung pasweldo mo sa empleyado mo, yung Pilipinas, marami na siyang kakompetensya when it comes sa mga manufacturing. So, binababaan talaga nila yung labor cost. So, figure 49, the employment in garbage sector because competing companies have less production enticing first world countries to invest these countries. Another example is electronic. There are around 1,000 firms employing na 400,000 worker nila sa Pilipinas. The two US firm daw dito, gumagawa ng semiconductor is Intel and National. Meron din tayong Acer, Epson, and Lesmart na nag outsource din yung mga BPOs natin. Then part of accessors computer comp components are our closest rivals, syempre Malaysia sa Thailand. Palagi tayong may kalaban siya. Sa Export Development Council, list naman, good prospect and future like yung mga automotive parts. Meron dito sa Pilipinas, kaya ang dami-dami na rin. Yung mga nagbibenta ng mga vehicle ko, complements, yung auto parts, services, yan. Kaya okay na rin dito sa Pilipinas. Uh, kaya lang, siyempre, palagi tayong maraming kakompetensya. Meron ding mga product, for example, Banawis sa Queso City, ay eh, kilala sila sa mga auto parts, auto repair service. Para din sa Ligaspi, may isang street dyan na lahat auto parts and auto repairs. Yan. Now, car shops, yan. Tapili. 
Yan, di ba sa pili, pili ka marinis or pila-pila from Kadlan to to papunta doon sa diversion is lahat yan mga mga bilihan ng sasakyan. So another prospect is home decoration, yan, yung mga is hardware, etc. yan. Yan yung mga pumapatok din sa ating bansa. Now, retail and trade services. Yan. Yung tourism as the fourth biggest contributor in foreign exchange with annual earnings. Siyempre. Kasi siyempre, ang mga foreigners, ang dala nila, hindi yung pera nila. Pag in-exchange nila sa pera natin, tataas yung exchange rate ng ating bansa. So, malaking bagay yun. Kaya dapat, pinapataas din yung ating tourism industry. Kaya lang ngayon, because of pandemic, lahat naman na bansa is affected in, in a way of tourism. It's because uh, may pandemic ka tayo. So, Figure 50 shows the increase of local tourists is a major reason why despite the recession, we still experience an increase in total tourism revenue. Yan yung example, yung year to year 1, divide year 1 times 100. Yan yung example yung hype, yung formula kung paano mga determine if if a certain percentage is increased tayo compared to last year when it comes to tourism. Example, may hypothetical o table tayo ng real growth ng domestic passenger. Ibig sabihin yung dumarating Average prices of domestic fares. Yan. Price and domestic products. Yan. 160 Kalang ha. 160 I'm sorry for the interruption. The order kasi no book but we continue continue tayo now that is the domestic or real domestic passengers una average price domestic fares base year yan 45 5000 3000 5000 yung amount the prices of domestic fares kada ba yung pinapamasahe nila index yung tinitingnan which is the index kung ilan ba yung uh, i think Ito yung pamantayan or a formula kung ilan ba yung dumarating per uh, passenger. So 1, 1.11, 0.67, 1.11, 1.33. number domestic passenger. Nung year 1, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, dumami. Real number domestic passenger, sakto, 100. Ito hindi umabot. 2,896 yan. Lumampas. Hindi rin umabot dun sa current or projected. So 135.34. So, real growth, yan, 8.1, 93% to tumaas. Lampas sa dito eh. Halos 100%, eh, dumoble. 31%, yan, bumaba. Then, 6.1%. Bumaba siya from here. Kaya ganun. So, yung hypothetical table real growth daw ng number of domestic passengers, ang sample niya is current average price, yan, which is 6,000, if I'm not mistaken, over the base, which is 4,500, yan. So that is the computation of it. Kung paano malaman yung, yung domestic fares given sa column 2 and 3. So years are considered daw na current years except the base year which is bought current number daw ng domestic passenger in given case we can say na superficial na 20 passengers. Meron tayong indicated na at least 20 passengers per year. Yan. Ibig sabihin, uh, ano na yun? Minimum. This comes inflation, then we cannot call it real growth. Pag sila inflation is because tumaas yung amount or value of money or tumaas din yung, yung, yung nag-increase sa prices ng goods. Kasi kaya, kaya hindi natin masabing growth siya. Kasi sinabi, eh, from, from year 1, sample nito, is from year 1 to year 5, baka nagmamahal na yung or nagsimahala na yung presyo ng pamasahe. So we cannot say that is a growth. Year 2, year 1, real times 100. Yan. Ganun. Same, same computation din siya. So year 2 minus the year 1, then divide sa year 1 times 100. So yun. So inflation, as as we, we explained kanina, yan, interrupted because price goods in our period of time. Increase siya. Uh, hindi siya plano, but nag-increase. Diba? There are different types ng increases within kasi doon. So, so, affected lahat. So, there are an increase to it. Yan ang bagay na hindi natin makakontrol. So, in 2015, Conference of Council of Economic Educator, kasama si 
Department of Tourism discuss the increase daw yung volume of tourists niya. Yeah. Inidentify nila kung ilan yung mga tourists na pumapasok sa bansa. For example, the average day tourist day sa Davao City is around week because of bus size number place. One can experience travel like Philippine English Sanctuary and the Garden of Eden among others. Yeah. Ang transportation na kuha ng tourism by 2014 is 141.7 billion yeah to 20.8 sa food and beverage accommodation uh, 113.4 health and wellness 45.7 na others 38.9 so dito yung sa tourism ang mas nakinabang sa tourism ay unang-una according to yan amount in billion sa and pre na ginabang na marami here is this 220.8 which is the food and beverages So kapag marami ang turista sa inyo, mas magiiin to kasi kainan. Kasi mas maraming kita doon. Other than the other. Kaya nga yung mga hotel, meron na silang di ba, may mga hotel na may health and wellness. Yung mga chima niya sa baba, sa food and beverage, meron silang ano, ah, uh, tawag dyan? Buffet, which is yung eat all you, all you can eat. Yeah, which is all you can eat. Man, kahit ano, kainin mo. Buffet yan. Ang daming kita doon. Tapos hotel pa, sila pa yung accommodation, sila pa yung tutuluyan. Maroon din sila, nakapackage na rin, karaman na, sama na sa babayar, which is sa transportation. Kami na bahala sa inyo na maglibot. So ganun, pinapackage na nila. Kaya makita mo, in food beverage, hawak na nila. Yung transport, hawak na. Yung accommodation, hawak na. Health and wellness is hawak na rin nila. So ganun yung labanan doon when it comes to tourism. Kaya kung... Malaki-laki kang establishment, you gain because you have it all. If not, kung paisa-isa, pwede doon ka lang sa sector na kaya food and beverage ka lang. Doon ka lang sa sector na yun. So number of Korean repair services and deal to Indian other over East industry group. Yeah. Sa so figure 52 shows the number of establishment wholesale to retail trade and repair services the most number of establishment is G523 which is other retail trade of goods is specialized store. Yeah. Next is G521, which is non-specialized retail trade in stores. Yeah. G513, wholesale household stores. GP, G505, which is the retail sale on automotive fuel. And lastly, yung G512 daw is agricultural raw materials, live animals, food, and beverage. Ano yung pinakamatas, which is the G521, which is this G521. Which is is na specialized retail trade in stores, yeah. Di sabihen ano siya? Ah, asan niya? This is a figure fifty-three, I think. It shows distribution employment. The base G five twenty-one. Yeah, yung twenty-three is five two three. Sagot specialized store. We we na specialized which is ano siya? Mix of variety siya ng mga repair. Kapag specialized lang siya, ano lang anya kami, vulcanizing. Kami lang ay overhauling. Kami lang anya ay repair. Kami ay car wash and etc. Ganun yung specialized. Ibig sabihin, may isang product lang. Pag na-specialized, ibig sabihin, mix. Halo-halo siya lahat. Yun yung mas mas makita within that time when it comes to sa retail trade industry. Ganun din dito. Revenue, yung others yung pinakamataas. Yan. So, figure 55 na tayo. So, sa margin retail, trade and repair establishment by industry goods in 2000, the biggest chunk of peak below sa G513, house, wholesale of household goods, yan, mga gamit sa bahay. Yeah. And the rest as follows. So, ngayon, most of the time, most of what we call micro-business, small-scale business fall under the wholesale and retail. Yan. Kasi, mix siya. And based on figure 52, G5 52 is other retail and goods, specialized stores, including yung computers, software, etc. So, tuloy na tayo dito sa international trade yan. Pag-aralan naman natin yung import and export. Export is lumalabas, import yung pampasok sa ating bansa. Export is which is galing sa ating product, dinadala natin sa ibang bansa. Import, galing sa ibang bansa, pinapasok sa ating. So what is important so between the two, export and import? Pareho yan importante. Noong panahon, meron tayong tinatawag na barter. Di ba yung merchants at trade exchange? So ngayong panahon, ipapalit ko ng, ng ceramics na base kapalit isang baka. Yun. That, what, that is what we call trade. So now, nagsimula siya ng time of Chinese. Yan. Yung, yung partnership. Hindi pa man dumating yung mga Amerikano at Kasila. Meron tayong type partnership between the, the Arabs, which is... Uh, we have a partnership kaya nga daming muslim sa Mindanao 
partnership between the Indians. We have a partnership between the Chinese because mga malalayag noon, wala namang biyahe noon na airplane, lahat siya barko. Naglalayag sila in order para makipag-barter. Yeah. Anong produkto? Meron kang produkto. Pero wala namang halaga. Pwedeng mas mahal yung maibigay mo, mas mura yung maibigay niya. Yan, Yan yung, 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 yung sample between the two. Now, comparative advantage to countries <coughs> making two products. Yan. May country A, country B. Yan. Integrated circuits, gumagawa siya si A100, si lithium 50. Si B, 50-100 naman ki lithium. 150-150. So, mangyara, magtitrade sila nung kakulangan between the two. Pwede si 50, kakulangan niya. Integrated circuit, eh, makikipag-trade siya into lithium batteries kay isa. Yan. 50-50. Uh, Yan. Lithium batteries. Madami siya. Makikipag-trade siya for uh, ito. Saan ba yun? Si, si lithium, si A, makikipag-trade for integrated uh, for lithium batteries. Kasi yun, madami niya. Ito naman, si, si B, makikipag-trade ng integrated circuit kasi yung kulang niya. Yung strength kasi ni country A si integrated circuit. Yung strength naman ni country B is yung lithium batteries. So yun yung trading doon. So gano'n na. Producing circuits with weakness is producing lithium. On the other hand, country B strength is producing lithium batteries and weakness is producing integrated circuit. So yun. So magdadagdag sila from 100, ganun din si lithium batteries plus 100. Uh, pinapakita lang sa table 31 na all of the resources and products where they specialize in and not on products, they are not good at having total 200. So both countries, both, both products trade Oh, done after specialized. Ibig sabihin, dito na pumoko si A, kay integrated circuit. Kasi mahina sila sa paggawa ng integrated circuit. Ito si 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 B, pumoko sa lim kilit yung batteries kasi dito sila magaling. So, kaya nga no, 100 plus 100. Ba? So, advantage yun. Kaya ang gagawin ni A, ni B, magtitrade na lang siya kay A. Ganon din si B. Ay si, si B, magtitrade, ah si, I'm sorry, si A, Magtitrade siya ng lithium batteries ki B. Si B, magtitrade ng integrated circuit ki A. Kasi doon sila mas magaling. Ganyan yung meaning ng export and import. Si B sabihin, si B mag-i-import ng integrated circuit ki A, country B. Si country A mag-i-import uh, mag ki lithium batteries kaya ki B ng lithium batteries. Si B, mag-e-export ng lithium batteries ki A. Si A, mag-e-export ng integrated circuits ki B. Yan. So, merchandise export performance. Yan. Tingnan lang natin. There's an increase daw sa electronic product, 34.6. Furniture, 5.9. So, sa machinery, nag-decrease. Ganun yung transport equipment ng 52.2 at 66.6%. So, articles apparel, 37.3. Nag-decrease with 9% ki metal component, ki chemical, 26%. Ki coconut oil, 4.7%. Ki ignition, 7.4%. And then ki manufacturers, other manufacturers or other type of product na manufacturer, 4.6%. Ang trading partner naman, country's top trading partner ay Japan. Yan, may 19.3% share na total export. Followed China, pangatlo is America, including Alaska and third which list 4.8%. So nun sa atin na ka trading partner natin is Hong Kong. Yan ibig sabihin pag trading partner, nag-i-import tayo sa kanila, nag-i-export sila sa atin. Nag-i-export tayo sa nag-i-export tayo sa kanila, ibig sabihin papadala tayo produkto kung anong kalakasan nating produkto. Ganun din naman kinukuha nila 'yun sa atin. So 'yun yung meaning nitong macro environment. So that's it. Ito ito na lang yung ating topic for today. This is our topic for today. Yan. Okay. This is the main topic natin ngayon. Yan. Then, ito na lang yung scoop natin. Your examination is tomorrow. Dito na tayo kukuha ng scoop. Lesson 7 and lesson 8 yung... Uh, 6, 7, and 8 yung lesson na... Scoop ng lesson natin ng examination. Sa so, accounting naman is... Uh, uh, I think tatlo. Tatlo din siya. The topic. So thank you very much for your listening. It's, I hope you will have a good day and God bless.